Hello everyone, welcome back to Atreyu Crochet. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a slip knot. Not to be confused with the slip stitch, even though when I'm speaking, I always mix the two up. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a slip knot. Let's get to it. Alright, so, you're going to take your yarn, and you're going to measure out that length, whatever length you want, okay? And you're going to wrap this yarn around these two fingers here like that. It's going to make an X as you see where it crosses over. You're going to use your thumb to place on the X and you're going to rotate around here and now we're going to stuff this yarn, the tail, up under like that so that it makes a little loop and you're going to tug on it a little bit so you have that loop. Notice the tail is still over there. You don't want to pull the loop so much that the tail comes all the way through, right? Okay, so you have the little loop. Now let's go back to this view. You'll hold on to the loop like that. And as you're holding on to that loop, you're going to slide very gently the two fingers out. Now we have this part of the yarn, which is attached to the skein, as well as this tail. And we're going to grab both. And while we're grabbing, we're going to be pulling with the right hand on that loop. And it's going to get bigger. And that right there is how you make your slip knot. Now to adjust your slip knot, you're just going to pull on the tail. Okay? Like that. And then at which point we would insert our crochet hook. Let me show you one more time. To undo this, just simply pull. Very cool, right? Alright, so. We have the yarn. You have these two fingers. So it's coming from the back up like that, right? Now we're going to wrap it up and over, and we have an X. Place our thumb on the X, it holds everything in place. Now on this side, we're going to stuff the yarn up under just a little bit so that it makes a loop there and the tail is still hanging out there. Now we're going to hold on to that loop and let our fingers, our two fingers, slide out. Okay, we're going to grab this part which is attached to the skein as well as the tail over here. Grab them like that. Hold them and then we're going to pull with the right hand on that loop and that creates the slip knot. And then we're going to pull on this tail to make the slip knot, or sorry, to make, we're going to pull on the tail to make the loop smaller. The reason that we make the loop smaller is because we're going to insert a crochet hook into the loop. And to make it a little bit more snug, you just continue pulling. And this is how you make a slip knot. We use slip knots to begin a lot of crochet projects, okay? In fact, when we get to making the chain stitches, which will be the first stitch that I teach you, we're going to have to make a slip knot before we start chaining, okay? So that is how you make a slip knot. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.